Dali AI just brought out a new feature that's causing high traffic to the site, but I'm going to push ahead and show you how I'm using it to create high resolution images. Dali is currently restricted to using dimensions of 1024 by 1024 pixels and inputting a text prompt to fill in the space. Well, now you can use that to do out painting. So say I want to get a high resolution portrait image of a cyberpunk model. I start with a small section of that image and use out painting to grow the rest. In this case, I start with a close up of an eye. This way the eye itself will be a resolution of 1024 by 1024 and everything beyond that will add to the image to make the final image around three to 4K resolution. So here my initial prompt is a luxury cyberpunk supermodel, a high definition cinematic portrait photo. And then I add to the end a close up on the eyes or I add a close up on the left eye or the right eye. Go through a number of generations until you get something you like. So then you come into the edit section and you can click add generation frame. If you put it in a totally clear area, it will generate as usual based on the text prompt to create a brand new image. But if you overlap it with the current image, it will look at that and fill in the clear space with the text prompt. During the process, you can still use the eraser to remove areas that aren't working and then regenerate in the blank space. And so you just continue doing that process to fill out or outpaint your current image. You can do it vertically or horizontally, and there's a lot of space you can use. So then when I get a result that's pretty finished that I like, I then take it into Photoshop and I use content aware fill tool to fill in some blank space that is just basic or flat color. So I'm not wasting credits in Dali. You can even take that same original image you like and outpaint it once again from scratch to get a totally different result. Have fun. And I'd love to see what you come up with at me on Twitter at Rhett, R-H-E-T-T. -T. Thanks. Bye.